it's the barcode from the Wikipedia. so if you are bored with using your regular launcher then you are the perfect place because today I'll be giving an in-depth analysis or probably how to use the ratio launcher now you might have seen ratio launcher in other top launcher and other videos but then no one would have given you this insight so I'll be providing with you with such stuff so you can see this is kind of a minimalist launcher you have only text and with the text it's kind of a folder thing where you have all the apps provided so it gives you you know around two to three basic folders or names with which you when you start ratio so like it gives you the essentials and it gives you google so once you go to google then you would find the apps related to google and also then you can add or change anything what you want so these are the markers like if you have any important app to highlight so you have this marker thing which is a very good one so you can actually you know because this is kind of a monochromatic launcher so you can actually highlight the specific app you want to so like you can see this is the highlight one you can change the icon you have the info and the delete one which is kind of the uninstall info for the application info you can expand and you have the color you have hide lock mute and other stuffs basically the stuffs you have in other launchers it has it too so what makes it unique is the minimalistic approach it comes with and that's the best part of it so it looks clean it's pretty clean now you cannot add widgets to it that's a con but then this looks pretty clean so you can just search an application and it would come out so you can rename your folder and the icons which you can see beside it so you can change it also like I have made it kind of what I like you can have it in A to Z order you can change the icon and you can rename it you can add applications you can delete and you can have as many sections as you want you can have one section and you can have as many sections as you want so like the mode the way you want it to be get organized you can have it it has a sun mode and a dark mode i do not like the sun mode actually but then the sun mode actually works out pretty well when you are under the sun uh it has this light mode which is again you know just just a pretty basic thing it comes to gray from black also it has this focus mode which actually focuses on the stuffs and not on the wallpaper so you do not see a wallpaper now coming to the settings part uh, so there are you know four settings now this is currently under the beta version so definitely you won't have too many stuffs to explore but then it has many stuffs so as you can see there is a 24 hour format you can have wallpapers now not all wallpapers are supported but then you can have like you can use custom wallpapers but you have to see which wallpaper suits the best it also has some default wallpapers so you can choose from them uh, it has some uh, as you can see apply dark wallpaper to the system apply light wallpaper to the system so you can have these now also uh, so once you set the wallpapers you can see the wallpaper is set and boom so you go to the settings and let's just go to the settings so you can see there is the root so the root is the left uh, like the right swipe one where you get the widgets it's kind of a widget under the ratio launcher itself so the tree is like the auto reply then uh, stuffs it basically is the tree is when you have a message you can just reply or probably see it through the left swipe so once you left swipe you have the all the social media applications and you can just reply see messages through there so it's styles you can auto categorize and stuffs now this is the right swipe one i have the calculator here i have the weather here the google and the notes so it's pretty fun stuff now you as i said you cannot have widgets here so this is the only widget stuff you get under the hood from ratio itself so that's a pretty great stuff in the settings you do not have much to explore from but then yup you have some things to choose from and not to so given the ratio this is a very good launcher but what i feel like the the launcher sometimes 
makes you feel too much bland like after two months of use i felt like i need some color back to my device and then i had to shift to nova launcher back also this as i said this is in the beta variant so it has lots and lots of bugs itself and but the best part is that they give updates weekly and that's like they try to fix bugs now as you can see i will open applications and once i open tons of applications this is a bug that i have coming across it kills the launcher it just kills the launcher so i'll just open and you will see that it just kills the launcher it's an i have nice you can see this so i don't know i have tried it tried to fix it but it doesn't also for the icon pack i have used the lines free you can have other two but the lines free works the great because i've tried the other ones and you can have the lines free for the best outcome you have the most minimalist approach like have like you know have four to five categories categorize your application have this have a cool wallpaper dark wallpaper and um, just put in the i can pack and it would look great but i do not know if you feel like using it for more than two months if it then kudos to you but i didn't i had to go back to my Nova, Nova launcher i hope that they also add more features to it but overall this is a great launcher to look forward to i hope you like this video share this video with your friends i hope to see you in my next one till then use this launcher and stay safe